Samsung just launched their latest flagships, the S20 series. On paper, these devices are absolute beasts. Apart from the camera controversy that they've got dragged themselves into, everything else feels really amazing. But still, there are so many things that you can tweak to enhance your overall experience. In this video, I will give you a few tips on how to maximize your experience with your latest Galaxy S20 phones. So let's get started with a few simple UI tweaks to begin with and later in the video, let us look at a few interesting ones. S20 series phones come with substantially larger displays, especially the Ultra that I have here. And Samsung ruins this display by filling it up with huge crazy icons. So I'd like to reduce the size of these icons and create more real estate for my use. So simply, you just have to press long press on the home screen, go to home screen settings, go to home screen grid, and make it five by six. Same setting applies to the app drawer. Currently, if you see, the app drawer is like filled with these huge icons, right? Just long press, go to home screen settings, go to app screen grid, and make it five by six. So you have access to all your apps, but now you have more space. Samsung's S20 series phones come with the high refresh rate display. They are employed with 120 Hz refresh rate displays. But right out of the box, these displays are refreshing at only 60 Hz, which is half of its potential. To activate the beast mode of the display or 120 Hz display refresh rate, you have to go into settings, then into display, and you see here motion smoothness. Currently, it's at standard refresh rate. You just choose high refresh rate and click apply. But make sure that if just in case, if the screen resolution is not at full HD+, plus, the 120Hz refresh rate will not apply. So you need to make sure you first change this setting and then change the motion smoothness. And now we are at 120Hz display. Everything is much more smoother and lively on this refresh rate. Moving on, again, something related to the visual appearances of the phone. This phone, everything you see is all white here and this is AMOLED screen. So if everything becomes black background, it saves more battery. So all you need to do is just go here in notification panel and activate the dark mode. And this enables and makes everything dark. The theme of the phone overall becomes dark. For example, this Google search bar was white just few seconds back. Once we activated the dark mode, this became black and every other app that supports dark mode turns into the dark mode. For example, the Play Store. Did you see this? Now all of the apps here and everything has become dark. Anyway, let's move on and talk about the power button menu. If you long press this button, it actually activates the Bixby, it doesn't give you the switch off option. So to change that, you click here, the small power button icon here, you click on this, you click the side key settings and you can actually change this. Either double press will launch the camera, that if you quickly want to click a picture, just double click the power button, it will launch the camera or open Bixby or open any app of your choice. It will give you the list of all the apps that you want to quickly reach. Second is press and hold. If I press and hold the power button, what happens? I do not want to wake Bixby. I would want it to sleep forever. So hence power off menu. So now if I long press this, I directly go into this menu. Alrighty. Moving on, the other most important thing that I use on the phone is the dialer app. I love the dialer app and the features that it comes with. One of the most favorite features that I have is that if I need to call somebody, I don't need to click on their name and then click on this call icon or need to text somebody, click on this text icon. No, there is no need to do that. All you need to do is just swipe their name right side and directly you will call that person. If not that, if you swipe left on their name, it will go into the text messaging app and will initiate a text message to that person. I, this is very handy and I use it almost every day. Right for calls, left for text. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, let's move on. Now this was about visual aid, right? And some nifty features. We need to look at some audio features also that this phone has. Now, if you're one of those who listen to a lot of music on the phone and watch a lot of content on the phone through your Bluetooth earphones or wired earphones, you need to make sure that you get the maximum quality of sound out of your phone. This phone supports Dolby Atmos, but unfortunately, right out of the box, that feature is not activated. So how to activate that? Go into settings, go into sound and vibration, scroll down a little, look for sound quality and effects. Click on this, Dolby Atmos is switched off, just activate it. Now you can listen to Dolby Atmos through your headphones and earphones, and it also supports gaming. Let's go back to the home screen and let's move on with the next features. 
Now see, this is uh, rather a very large device. It is absolutely impossible to manage this phone with one hand. Let's say you are texting somebody or you're walking somewhere and you need to use just one hand to text somebody. Don't do that while driving, okay? So to use this phone with just one hand, there is one very interesting feature is one-handed mode. Go into settings, look for one-handed mode right here and all you need to do is activate this what it does it gives you an opportunity to reduce the display size to one corner of the screen by just swiping down here you have access to your entire phone so your apps everything everything is right here on this small screen so you need to text somebody or need to search for something your keyboard becomes very small so you can actually do all of that so it's very interesting going back out of this one-handed mode just tap anywhere on the screen and you're back okay all right this is one handed mode but the actual now again like i mentioned this is a rather huge device and your notifications sit right up here to pull them down you all you have to do is like stretch make a huge stretch obviously your thumb is not going to reach you're going to go for a second hand or the other hand and then go like this right so another good thing that you can do you can easily access your notification panel by let's go back into the home screen settings Look for swipe down for notification panel. What it does, wherever I'm on this display, I swipe down, I get access to everything. That's it, it's so simple. Now this phone doesn't have just these two gestures, this one or just this one. There are multiple other gestures also on the phone. Let's look at the navigation bar gestures. Now if you go into settings and search for navigation bar, navigation bar here, it's right here. There are multiple variety of gestures. Actually, this is what Android 10 has. So instead of these three button layout, you can straight away go into the Android 10 style of navigation. You just select this option and you're sorted. So those three buttons have been replaced by this home button sort of a thing. So this, how it works is you just swipe up home screen. But the problem with these gestures is that on Samsung phones especially is when you swipe up from home screen, it actually launches the Samsung Pay instead of going on the home screen. Or if you want to just go into the recent tabs by holding this up here, it doesn't work. So it actually launches the Samsung Pay. So to fix this, what we need to do is just click here, go into the settings, click on quick access and just disable the home screen option from here. So what happens is your Samsung Pay will not launch from the home screen, but it'll still launch from the lock screen and the screen off. So when you're at home screen, when you do this, you actually are into the Android 10 style navigation pane. We spoke about the navigation bar and enhanced it. Now let's talk about the notification bar and try to enhance it. First things first, now when you need to check how much battery your phone is left with, you actually need to swipe this down and see how much percentage is there. There is no need to do that because you can actually bring the battery percentage right here. Click on settings, search for battery percentage right here, show battery percentage. Click here and it starts to show here. Here it is. So now it's not showing 24% battery left and it doesn't stop there. Now on the left side, if you see, you have multiple things here so, and it gets very crowded. If you select the all notifications, for example, it just becomes like multiple barrage of notification icons start to come there. So instead of that, to keep the clutter clean, just select this number of notifications only. So it clubs all the notifications together and tells you that how many actual notifications are left inside the notification shape for you to address. Nifty, isn't it? Okay. Moving on. Now next thing I have two very interesting apps that actually will enhance your overall experience on this device further. One of them is the app that I found inside the Galaxy Store. Select the Galaxy Store and look for Sound Assistant. I already installed it. So what this app does is it actually enhances the volume reduction or increase, etc. The experience about the volume it enhances a lot. So what happens if you do not have this app and you try to reduce the volume, the volume bar appears up here and you need to again stretch yourself to go all the way on the top of the screen to just change it. Instead of that, install the Sound Assistant app from Galaxy Store and what it does is you open and set it up, just activate the volume panel theme, control media volume and that's it. Uh, there are multiple other settings, barrage of other settings, I will let you play with it and decide for yourself but these are the two options that I generally activate. So what it does is when I try to reduce the volume, the bar comes here and which I can control here. And 
if you click on this toggle it actually gives you more options and not it doesn't stop there it gives you the equalizer option as well and you can tweak the equalizer settings right from here don't need to go into settings and further dig deep into these things okay this is what the sound assistant does other app is from the play store which actually in the galaxy store as well the app is one handed operation plus i've already installed it again what this app does is the side swipe gestures are now on steroids so previously with the gestures mode that we enabled a couple of minutes back the gestures actually when you swipe sw side swipe from the screen actually just takes you back but what it does it actually enhances that and adds so many more features like from the left swipe i can do all of this straight right will actually take me back diagonal up would be going into the recents app or diagonally down would just switch the screen off and it also has long swipe so for example you don't just stop here and actually just hold a little longer come towards the center of the screen you can add one more option so on one side of the screen you can add six different options on the right side again another six options let's let's look at that now if i swipe down it opens all of these apps which are shortcuts and i can do what i can go into whichever app i would like to go and if i go down from here it doesn't do anything if i swipe up it goes into the recents menu but you you get the idea right you can actually enhance this entire experience so these are the tips and tricks that i wanted to show you today there are multiple other things lot of content coming in first in line would be the camera comparison with these two bad boys that is pixel 4 xl and the huawei mate 30 pro the camera comparison is in works right now probably i'll be pushing it out in the next 2 3 days Do subscribe to the channel if you want to watch that and also there is so much more Galaxy S20 related content coming in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching guys. Cheers.